Um, for the 50th celebration program this year, we anticipate to have it, um, it's programmed to, to spread over one week. Uh, we're looking from the 11th of June to the 15th of June. Uh, Monday, we have um, student debates on campus, and everyone is welcome to, to come and listen in. We have broken it down into debates amongst uh, faculties, which is good because it highlights the different faculties that our students are studying here from Malafoa campus. We've also got our community program. This is where we bring in the community to showcase what they have to offer with USB support on Monday. I think the highlights for Monday is the prayer service, which we have opened up at, uh, to all, especially to alumni. Um, we have also asked alumni to spearhead this because we would like to, um, we would also like to hear their testimonials, how um, USB has helped shape where they are today or shaped who they are to who they are today. Um, there will be food stores by student um, representative, country representatives throughout the week as well on campus. Tuesday we have the March Pass. This is the university's March Pass where we also invite all alumni to come in. We're coming, we, we will be meeting at the fire station the march pass is just like every other march pass. We come from the fire station to the government building. We anticipate to um, have our pro chancellor, the university's pro chancellor, vice chancellor um, here on island for this purpose, and anticipate to have the prime minister open this um, the 50th anniversary celebrations on Tuesday morning. Um, after the, the open, official opening in the morning, we're looking at the book launch. The School of Agriculture and Food Technology have a book launch at 2 p.m. Everyone is also welcome. Um, I think for the whole week, anyone and everyone is, is, is allowed to come and, and, and witness this milestone for the university. On Wednesday, we have the finals for the debates as we have um, Monday, we have first round of debates. But on Wednesday, we have the final of debates. We also have some PhD um, presentations, master's presentations. It won't be too long, so you will be, um, <clears throat> they'll be um, outlining what they're doing here on campus, um, their research and um, methodology throughout the week. The university will also be hosting a graduation dinner prior to graduation, as mentioned by head of school, Associate Professor Mohammed. The, Samoa, USP Samoa's Moment to Shine is the parliamentarian graduation on Thursday, Thursday morning, but USP will be hosting a dinner on Thursday, on Wednesday evening prior to the graduation. Uh, Thursday, Thursday the 14th of June, we've got the parliamentarian graduation at 10 a.m. This will be at the Tate Convention Center, and um, we anticipate this to be a moment to shine for the university. It is the first, not only for the university, but for the region. And also, this is actually a first for a cohort of parliamentarians. And we all know how busy parliamentarians are, but they have taken um, a whole year off from their busy schedule to actually study and finish and complete. So um, the, on Thursday as well, we have the graduation dinner hosted by the government, uh, by, by the parliamentarians on Thursday evening. And then I think the, um, the concluding events for, for the culmination of the 50th anniversary is the open day on campus on Friday the 15th, where we have, where like every other year, we um, extend the invitation to the schools to come and see um, what USP has to offer, our services, academic support services to our students, and um, uh, an alternative pathway because um, everyone knows that we have the National University, but USP is also another option for our students here in Samoa. So um, perhaps um, in due time, the representative for alumni can elaborate on what they have planned for Saturday. But that is pretty much the outline of what's happening uh, throughout the week. But Friday nights is our cultural evening. It's also open to the public where you may come and witness our students from all the various 12 member countries performing in their cultural groups. And also there'll be food served um, by students um, from their countries. 
So um, everyone is warmly welcome to these events and we hope to see you. I mean, we, we encourage the alumni to join. This is your university. USB is Samoa's university. It's owned by Samoa. So please come and join and um, yeah, and be part of the celebrations. It's been 50 years in the making. I think it's done a lot for